Recent years, there has been an explosion of interest in how technology affects the nature of work, and economists have often used tasks as a way to identify these effects. However, so far there has been no measures of worker tasks that are country specific and that are uh, worker level. And in our paper, we propose such a measure that allows comparisons between worker tasks in more than 40 countries around the world. Our first finding is that occupations are indeed different across the world. So workers in the richer countries perform less routine intensive work than workers in poorer countries, even within the same narrowly defined occupations. Second, these, differ these differences between countries can be related to differences in technology, globalization, uh, supply of skills, and the structural change uh, between different economies. In particular, uh, the higher is the technology stock in a country, the higher is the intensity of non-routine tasks and the lower is the intensity of routine tasks. The same can be said by supply of skills. And on top of that, the countries that specialize in narrow sections of global value chains are more likely to perform routine intensive tasks. We also find that these effects are different between various groups of workers. So the impact of technology is the strongest for workers in the highest skill occupation, like professionals or managers, whereas the impact of globalization is the strongest for workers in the low skill occupations, like plant and machine operators or craftsmen. The impact of technology is also much stronger for non-offshoreable jobs, whereas the impact of globalization is dominant for workers in the offshoreable jobs. So uh, an important policy implication is uh, to understand that it's not necessarily only about increasing the tertiary enrollment uh, of people in a given country in hoping that there will be more professionals in an employment structure rather than factory workers, but it's also about uh, position in the global value chain, the actual skills of these workers, so education quality, and also about the availability of technology, which actually makes these better trained people to be professionals who perform jobs similar to the professionals in the richest countries. Technology and globalization as skills are interrelated, but uh, you can also see that in some jobs, like for instance, uh, IT developers, uh, the technology is available already in most of the countries in the world for these people. So the fact that IT developers in poor countries perform more routine jobs than IT developers in the rich countries, that is rather related not to the technology stuff. This is related to their skills, and this is related also to the way how work is organized across this global value chain. On the other hand, when we look at manufacturing, then, then Technology and manufacturing is becoming increasingly similar across countries because like, automation is increasing in the poor countries as well. So again, it's like, about how work is organized across the global value chain and what are the skills of managers and also of its factory workers in different countries.